Well, good morning boys and girls. Welcome to today's lesson. Today is uh, Friday, 20th. I want us to continue with the far we had gone yesterday. But this time around, we are going to do it slightly different. I'll pick on the questions which are most referred. I've already highlighted them. So I wish that you work with me. We had gone up to number 30. We will go straight to number 34. This is a question on temperature. It says that uh, water was heated to, to, to. It is important to note this. That this is now our new reading. This is our new reading. Our new reading is 78 degrees Celsius. Then, after it was heated to this one, it was then cooled at a rate. When you cool, the temperature goes down. When you heat, the temperature goes up. Now, this one, after heating, maybe it was 0 degrees Celsius, our new reading became 78. And from this one, we are now cooling at a rate of 3 degrees Celsius for 18 minutes. This means one minute the cooling is 18 degrees Celsius. What about, uh, sorry, three degrees Celsius. What about 18 minutes? What will be the decrease? You will multiply this one and you realize this one, it will have a drop. Because it's a cool, it will have a drop of 54. And the question is asking, what was the reading after the 18th minute? If here we had 78, we are going to pick our 78, we subtract a reduction of 54, and you will find that our new reading now becomes 24 degrees Celsius. And this is the correct working. When you heat, the temperature goes up. When you cool, the temperature goes down. Again, we go to a question here, question 36. This is a very simple question, which was a question on tables. I will quickly look at it. I will quickly look at this one. Uh, we had 30, this one is 32, uh, then we have 34, I would wish you understand, you get the argument which I'm going to have here, then we have 38 and we have 40. Remember, the ones, this 30, 32, this is the size of the shoe. And here we have the number of shoes, or simply the pairs sold. Four pairs were sold here, eight pairs were sold here, seven pairs were sold. Three pairs were sold, five pairs were sold, and one pair was sold. And the question is asking, which is the mode? Mode, mode means mode. And the word mode means most repeated. Most repeated must be eight, because this is where we had the highest number of shoes sold. So the mode here is eight. The mode is eight. But the examiner does not need the number of shoes. The examiner need the shoe size. Point view, the correct answer should have been size 32 because it is the one which had the highest number of shoes sold. I hope that's clear. Then from the number 36, I'll go straight to number 39. I'll go straight to number 39. Number 39, this is a question on money which required, and this one is uh, to be precise on a shopping bill. I'll only look at two statements. The one statement I'm going to look at, I've said it's number 39. It says, I already bought the following items using a thousand shillings note. Using a thousand shillings note. What did this person buy? He bought one and a half kilograms of rice at 90. So you take one and a half, which is three over two, you multiply by 90. Clear? Then second bit was two liters of tin cooking oil for 220. That one will remain as that. For 220, it will remain like that. Three rolls of tissue papers, each, each, each. We say multiply by 35. Then come to the next one. This is the one I'm interested in. The question is asking, how much balance did he receive? How much balance did he receive? But listen to this one. There is one more, which I've even put an X and I wish you would also do the same. That he bought half a liter packet of milk at 80 shillings per liter. This person bought half a liter, but the cost that has been given is a cost of 80 shillings, and this is the cost of one liter. This person bought only a half. When you're going to take a half of 80, which is supposed to be 40. Then, that's not the end. We want to know the balance. There is a very big difference between the bill. The bill is the total amount of money you are required to pay. Then let's say, with this one, you pay using 1,000 shillings note. If your bill was, for example, 800 shillings, if your bill was 800 shillings, 
Then, whatever you're going to get here is 200. These 200, we call it the balance. We call it the balance and not change. So this is the bill. This is the amount you give to the shopkeeper. The amount you give the shopkeeper minus 800 gives you 200, which we call the balance. That's number 39. Then we go to number 41. This is a question I do not know why pupils were not able keen when answering this question. It says the market price of a shirt is 800 shillings. The market price of a shirt is 800 shillings. Sentence 2. Sarombe bought two shirts. Somebody in the name Sarombe bought two shirts. And remember, this is the price of one shirt. After which, after sorry, he bought two shirts after being around a discount of two and a half percent. Then the question is, how much did he pay for the shirts? This person was given a discount of two and a half, which we can write as five out of two hundred. This one is the discount. Then we want to know how much did this person pay for this one, for the shirts. I would advise you first to deal with one shirt. One shirt you're given a discount of 5 out of 200 times 800. Work with me here. 0, 0, 0, 0. By 2, 1, by 2, 4. This gives you 20 shillings. 20 shillings is the, is the discount of one shirt. Meaning, if the mark price is 800, then you subtract this 20. Meaning that the buying price of one shirt is 780. Don't forget, he did not, uh, Sarume did not buy one shirt, Sarume bought two shirts. You take 780, you multiply by two. And this is the correct answer that we needed. Then after that, we go to question 45. Question 45. Question 45 is, is still on money. And this topic on money, boys and girls, you require to take your time and go through it. Talks of a salesperson gets a 7,500 shillings as the basic salary. Remember, when you're dealing with the salespeople, they get the basic salary, and don't forget, we at times also give them the commission. But it is not mandatory that you be given the basic salary. The basic salary is 7,500 plus a commission of 12.5%. A commission of 12.5% of very keen, sales above 50,000, of sales above 50,000. For any sales, Ileiko Julia, 50,000. We don't want this, we don't want 50, we want what is more, what is above 50,000. One month he received, he was, his made sales was 150. This 50,000, we call it the limit. That unless you sell more than 50, you will not get any commission. So you're first going to get how much is above this one. You take 150,000, you subtract this 50,000, which is the limit. And here you get 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, uh, uh, this is 100,000. It is now from 100,000 that you are going to give this person a commission of 125 we have a decimal place, don't forget it. We first use one zero here and eliminate that decimal place. Then zero, 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 zero. How much is the commission? Is 125 and two zeros here. 12,500 is the commission. What's the question asking? The question is asking, how much did he earn? When we're talking of the total earning, we um to, at the end of the month, at the end of the a was 7,500 plus 12,500. Boys and girls, this is the argument I wanted you to have. And always be careful. The examiner may ask you the commission. The examiner may ask you the total earning. Good. That's number 45. Then we look at another question here, which was question 48. The reason why I'm going to look at this question is because this question had a problem, but you still did the question. I do not know why or what your argument was. Listen, a hotel buys an average of five liters of milk every day. So one day, a hotel buys an average of five liters. Even in an institution like this one, we buy five liters of milk every day. Then the question we are being told, the Bureau shows the amount of milk they bought in seven days. Huh, tell me, in the total. 
if the average the sale of bottle by, by, buying of one day is 5 liters for about 7 days you want to buy 7 this means for a whole week they buy a total of 35 liters i'll pay together to this then you're being told that monday he bought eight they bought six liters tuesday seven liters wednesday ten liters thursday eight liters saturday five and sunday eight if you want the ones which have been given for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday, you get a total of 44. And this is why we will say that this question is big. It's not three. In, to, in a whole week, we want you to buy 35. But the already the total given here is 44. So this question had a problem. This question had a problem. We expect this one possibly could be more than this. Maybe, uh, uh, I wish, maybe the examiner would have given us maybe 9, so that we get this total to be maybe 45 liters. So we say, if 40, for 7 days they are buying 45 liters, and 6 days they are buying 44, then we can be able to calculate the missing day. Be careful on such questions. Not every question has the correct working. And I will mention something a little concerning number 50. Number 50 concerns a bar graph here. And on this bar graph, I will only mention one thing. The question is asking, between which two consecutive? Consecutive means following each other. Following each other, we talk of uh, Monday, Tuesday. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Here we are talking of months from April to September. A is asking... Between which two consecutive months was the drop of the amount, sorry, was the drop of the amount of uh, rainfall recorded the highest? We want the highest, and not only the highest, but it should also be consecutive, following each other. A talks of April and June. If you talk of April and June, these months are not consecutive. Don't even bother counting the amount of milk for, uh, the amount of sale for April and June. Go to B. May, June. You should count on May. May we have 16 and June we have 7, giving you a total of 23. When you come to see it's talking of August to September, they are consecutive. One is 15, the other one is 4, again giving you 19. Go to B. July is 6 and August is 15. These two months are consecutive. They give you 21. Don't even think of A, which talks of April and June. That's what I wanted of this paper. Ensure that you follow the working which I've given you here, plus what you have in your work, and see whether you're going to know where you went wrong. There is a second paper that I gave you uh, the day before yesterday. I've had first given you 1 to 29, and later gave you number 30 to number 50. I will quickly again look at some of these questions here that I again noted that most of you were messing up. Kindly go to number four of that paper. Number four of paper two. Number four of paper two. Number four of paper two. I hope you're all there. Let's look at number four. It says, how many days are there from? You must learn to go to be keen on these statements. From 1st January, from 1st January, kutoka January, kutoka leo, from today, from 1st January to 1st of March. Remember, this is January, this is March, we have the month of February here, so you must consider the, which year is this. We have been told that this one is a leap year. A leap year is a unique year. Normally, the month of February is known to have 28 days. But when you come to the Arip year, Arip year, the month of February is known to have 29 days. Boys and girls, I told you, list down the months that have been mentioned. One of the months is January, we have the month of February, and we have the month of March. Even using your wrist here, we can say the month of January has that one days. February, we already have it as 29, and March has that one. List them down. January, that one. February, 29. March, that one. Are we together, Sandwich? Then come to January. We have been told from first, kutoka siku ya kwanza. Kwa hivyo, we need kutoka siku ya kwanza hadi ya musho. We need all these that one days. Then we have our 29 days. How does, it, does this give you? Did this already give you 60 days? 
Come to the month of March. We are not interested in the 31 days. We are interested in only one day in the month of March. Only one day in the month of March. And so that is why we are supposed to get 61 days. Is this clear now? We say from, we include today. If I say from Monday to Friday, you will include Monday and you will also include Friday. Are we together, boys and girls? I hope you are listening to me. Right from home, just check your watching and see where, what weather, that's what you did. See where you made the, your mistake. Go to number 10. Go to number 10. A family uses three 500 of ml's in uh, emails in the month of July and August. This question had some missing information because we do not know when they say a family uses three 500 emails in the month of July and August. This one, I just hope that you assumed, and I will also assume the same, that this is what they use in one day. So we say in one day they are using, in one day they are using three 500 ml. This means three packets each 500 